going to be another one of those videos where I just sit back and relax and just talk instead of reviewing a pen. Um, today I want to talk about why use a fountain pen. I did a video like this years ago, 2011. All right? But because that's so long ago, because that was a fairly crappy webcam, because I have matured a bit and changed my thoughts on some things, a little bit. Um, I thought I would just sort of not, not redo that, but give my updated opinion on it. And people seem to enjoy it when I when I just talk like this. So that's awesome. Uh, I always thank you for your support because I do really appreciate it. Why use a fountain pen? This is a question that I get really regularly. Um, I mean really regularly. YouTube comments, not from fountain pen users, but either from people who are considering to use fountain pens, people who have never used a fountain pen, people who are shocked that people still use fountain pens, uh, who randomly come by my videos and say, why would you do this? Why, why would you even use a pen? Everybody types these days. Um, but also people who see me use a fountain pen in public, uh, colleagues, sometimes students, I do, I do some teaching and stuff. Um, people ask me, why do you use a fountain pen? Now the short answer is, what the hell? Why wouldn't I use a fountain pen? None of your business, you know? Um, <clears throat> but I'm a very nice person, so I never say that. I always try to give an explanation. First of all, you want to use a fountain pen? Go for it. There's absolutely no reason not to. Yes, yes, people will say stuff like everything is digital and, and uh, computers and there is like technology and there is things and texting and... Fantastic. But if no one would have the need to use fountain pens, they would be gone by now and they're not. In fact, the industry is booming. Yes, I know, some companies have shut down and it's incredibly sad. But look around look on Instagram, look on Facebook, look online. Small fountain pen makers are just booming. Every time I go to a pen show, I see at least three new people I've never seen before who are making their own pens. Sometimes kit pens, sometimes from the ground up, it doesn't matter. They are making pens. So there is a business for this. There is an opportunity to do this. But why would you use pens at all, right? I think there's a couple of misconceptions, there's a couple of things that, uh, th that people think about pens that are not necessarily true, so this video will be a little bit of dispelling myths, but there's also some, um, uh, I would say, some things that are uh, important to, to consider when you want to use a fountain pen. So, a couple of things first. Number one, if you buy a fountain pen, do not expect that your handwriting is going to magically improve. Unfortunately, that does not happen. Would be great, doesn't happen. So don't buy a pen and then think that you're suddenly writing copper plate. Utter nonsense. Beautiful handwriting is a matter of experience and practice. Years and years and years of practice. Sorry for the bad news, that's the way it is. Um, Second misconception, I hear this so often. Fountain pens, why would you use that? They always leak. Answer, no, full stop. Next question, they don't always leak. A fountain pen only leaks when it is broken or when there's something wrong with it. This pen is currently uninked. If I would hold it like this inked, I would then do this. Then yes, there would be ink in the cap. That's not the pen's fault, that is the user's fault. Um, if I seem particularly angry or annoyed, I, I'm not at all, but it's just that I get these, these comments so often that many of them are just nonsense, they're not true. Third thing is, why buy a fountain pen because they're always so expensive? Really? Preppy. Four dollars. So that's not an issue either. So here's a couple of reasons that the, the things that people will say, you can dispel all of that easily. But the real question is, so why would you use a pen? Why? Why use it? Everything is digital. No, not everything is digital. I go to the post office, I mail something, I have to fill out a form, I have to do that in analog fashion, and that means that I actually have to use a pen. I don't happen to use a fountain pen for that because it doesn't really work, but that's not my fault. That's just the way it is. So, yes, there is still need for analog stuff. 
First of all, for me, personally, fountain pens allow me to organize my thoughts. When I have to sort of think something through, I take a sheet of paper, I take a pen, I reason it through. That for me is way faster than doing it digitally in, in Word or PowerPoint or whatever. Way faster. I can quickly draw, I can put a little arrow in, I can make a quick table, I can do whatever I want, but it's very easy for me to organize my thoughts on paper as opposed to on a screen. And it actually turns out that there are some benefits to children in using a pen as opposed to a keyboard. Uh, just the, the, the very um, motor and na nature of, of that writing is good for their brains. I actually wrote a, a blog about that, and if I don't forget it, I'll put in a link to, uh, uh, to, to that text. So it helps. It helps in your development. So for young people, I think that's actually a great idea. Do that as young as you can, actually use a pen. And yes, it doesn't have to be a fountain pen, it could be any pen, but write by hand. I do think that is very important. Another reason, not unimportant at all, is that a fountain pen is way more ecological or, or green or, or good for the environment, better for the environment, than a ballpoint ever will be, because most of the ballpoints we use, that we use at school, or that we get at work, are disposable. So. Um, you use it up, you throw it out. The massive amounts of plastic that generates is very disturbing. I don't want to sound like some sort of uh, uh, conspiracy theorist, but, but look up how many ballpoints are produced in a day, then think about how many of those are thrown out on a daily basis. It's very disturbing. A fountain pen allows you to use bottle ink or cartridges if you really want to, but to make this as environmentally sensitive as I can, a bottle of ink. That means you buy a pen, you buy a bottle of ink and a converter if you don't have one, or a piston filler or whatever, but I mean, assuming you have a pen that will take bottle ink, all you have is an, a, a bottle. And once it's empty, you can do all sorts of stuff with it, you can refill it, you can put it out as a, whatever, a decoration, or you can just recycle it. Usually it's, it's often, it's, it's glass, easy to recycle, and that is a lot less waste than cartridges actually are. So that's not, not bad at all. To me, there is a certain meditative quality to, to the whole use of a pen. Inking it up, putting it to paper, cleaning it again afterwards. There's a very nice, calm... I'm always a little hesitant to use the term zen in this context, but they're very zen-like moments. You calm down, you clean your pen, you take a cup of water, you draw up the water, you expel it until it's clear. It's a very repetitive, low cognitive load type thing where you just relax and you have fun and you ink up the pen afterwards. And it's... So I, mean, I think that is also actually very good. In a day and age where we, we rush a lot, we're stressed a lot, this is a very de-stressing thing. You know, you just take your time and it's, it's very pleasant. So I think that's, that's very nice. Another good reason is that, that pens, and this is a cliche because it's, it's mentioned a lot, but pens allow you to add a personal touch to things. What would you rather receive from your girlfriend, boyfriend, wife, husband, lover, whatever? A type letter or a little handwritten note, right? Yeah, yeah, there's your handwriting and everybody hates their own handwriting and we all know that and it's terrible and nobody likes, etc. But it's yours. Your handwriting is uniquely yours. Everybody can use Times New Roman or Arial or God forbid comic songs, but no one can write like you because that is your handwriting. And it's unique. And that's what's so beautiful about it. And a fountain pen, I think even more so than a ballpoint, will allow you to really make it personal because you add the ink you like, you may have the nib you like, it's broad or fine or extra fine or flex or whatever. You can customize that completely. And one final thing that I wanted to mention, and this is something that you should not underestimate, is that when you start to become really serious about fountain pens, you enter a much larger world. All of a sudden, wherever you are in the world, there will be people who also love fountain pens, and the vast majority of those people are super nice, very kind, willing to share knowledge and let you try out their pens and give you tips on ink or exchange inks or whatever. That's fantastic. I was born in the Netherlands. 
I moved to Canada, we moved to the province of Ontario, we are currently in Oshawa, which is about, uh, I think, 60 kilometers from Toronto, which is a bigger city. But even in Oshawa, smaller town, I think 125,000 people, there are people here who love fountain pets. We set up, that was mainly Aziza, we set up a, a meeting, like a, a, a regular monthly pen meet in this area. People joined in, we announced it on Facebook, people come in, turns out that a whole bunch of people live, I, I'm not exaggerating, five minutes away from where we are. They love pens, we now hang out together, we do things together. So, would it not be for pens, I would have emigrated, and I don't know anyone here. But now, it's like stepping into a warm bath, right? Because you already have people, you don't even know them, but you can just hang out with them. And, okay, Aziza and I happen to be in a fortunate position where we have a lot of people who follow us on Facebook, but I mean, post something like this in the Founder Pen Network. Hello, I am in Frog Balls, Tennessee. Is there anyone else who happens to live here and who, who wants to do something with pens? Rest assured, there will be people, and in my experience, people even don't mind driving a little bit to hang out with you, uh, and, and that, is, that is really nice. So, you enter a community that's very pleasant, that is typically very accepting, uh, and that allows you to do all sorts of things, interact with people, meet people, and that's kind of cool, right? So, you, you, there's a much bigger world uh, than, to pens than just the actual pen. A wonderful body of people. So I think that's very nice. Okay, I've wasted enough of your time. Fun pens are fun. That's why you should use them. All right? Have fun with your pens. Don't worry about what other people tell you. If you want to use pens, use pens. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter whether everything is digital. It doesn't matter whether anyone else cares. It doesn't matter whether the computers will take over the world. There will be pens as long as they're there. Have fun with them. Hope this was useful. And I'm glad to see you later. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.